boys and girls how are you doing okay our lesson today is about time to the half hour but today it won't be using analog clock the one that we hanged on the wall usually we will talk about uh, the other kind of the clock you already know it it's a digital clock okay it's a digital clock oh miss why did we say that this is digital clock and what did we say what was the difference between the analog clock and the digital clock the digital clock has only digits only digits so there is no hands only digits Oh, what's the meaning of digits? It's numbers. Digital clock has only numbers. No long hand, no short hand. I can know the number of the minutes from this side, the right side, and I know the number of the hours from the right side. Now, listen carefully. And here I want you to fill in this blank this side is for the hour I want you to fill it in I want you to write a number inside this box okay Tyler's football practice ends at half past four write that time on the digital clock shown on the phone Tell a classmate, what time is it shown on the phone? You can tell to your mommy. So now, what time is shown? It is four right here. Yes, I know. My students are so, so, so super smart. Now, let's go to, other, to this next page. This is page 607. Let's go to the next page. Go to page 608. Okay, let's see here. Here. I have the both kind of the clock. Can you see it? This is the analog, you still remember it, I know. And this is the digital clock. This clock has hands, while this one, the digital clock, has no hands. It has just two sides, the right side for the minutes and the left side for the hour. Okay? As I told you before, you can draw a long arrow here to indicate the minute and a short hour here to remember. Here we write the hour. A digital clock can also show time to the half hour. Both of the clocks show half past what? Half past six. What's the meaning of half past? As we said, the half of the analog clock is colored by yellow. Half of the circle. The long hand is on six. So, I told you before, it's 30 minutes. So, the long hand is on, the, on six. While the short hand is not exactly on 6 and not exactly on 7. It's in the middle of 6 and 7. Okay. Teacher, what do we use? We had a deal before that we should always use the smaller number. Because the short hand already passed the smaller number but did not reach to the next number which is 7. Now, the shorthand passed the 6, but did not reach to 7, so we just say 6. 
it's half past six only. Or we can write it as digital clock, like here, six thirty. Here we go. Go to the next. Use analog clock to show the time. Tell what time is shown and write the time on the digital clock. Okay, let's start. Here is the long hand, which is the minute. And here I will look at the short hand, which is the hour. The minute says, I'm on six. So what should I write? How many minutes? It's 30. On six, that means it's 30. The numbers of minutes are not written on the analog clock. It's written in my mind. I should always remember it. Now, which number do I choose to write the hour? Look at the shorthand. It's in the middle between one and two. So I will choose one. This is the one. So what is the time now? The time is 1.30. Or we can say half because of 30 past one. Now, the next one. The long hand is on six. So it's 30. While the short hand is in the middle between eight and nine. What do I take? I take eight. Again, what do I take? Excellent, it's eight. Here is the shorthand to remember. Now, question number three. This is the long hand. Where is the long hand again? It's on six. So what is it now? 30 minutes. Great job. What about the number of the hour? I will look at the shorthand now. Where is it? It's in the middle between 11 and 12. What do I choose, teacher? You're super smart. Yes, you choose 11. Excellent. Here we go. Last question. Again, long hand. Where is the long hand? It is on 6 again. It's 30 so. Great job. What is the shorthand? Where is it? It's in the middle between 3 and 4. So what do I choose? The shorthand past the 3, but did not reach to 4. So it's 3.30. Great. 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 Now we're done with page 608. I want you by yourself because you're super, super students. I want you to start solving page 609 by yourself.